great. So we've got our funds in, so our cash flow is adequate, and I guess it would be really indeed time to make our purchase orders. So back on our project tab, under documents, the next option is for our project purchase orders. Enter in our code for the client's Bring and Team Beach Home, and we would see any purchase orders that I've created in the past. In the case of the Carter's Bring and Team Beach Home, I haven't had to make any purchase orders yet, so we'll click our Add PO button to make our first one. And that brings us to our new purchase order window. I always like to point out, notice here, we're no longer seeing our custom sofa item. Rather, we're seeing the frame, fabric, and trim, those constituent components that create the custom sofa itself, as we'll need to order each one of these individually. To create POs, we simply select our components and click the OK button. And Design Manager will automatically process the purchase orders for us. And it does so by including components for the same vendor on a single purchase order. So in our case, we're going to have one PO for Century for the frame and a second or crab it for the fabric and trim. From my generated purchase order window, I can even add or, or append some information as well. By using the edit button, I can change some information on our PO to crab it, such as I could change my default shipping method from UPS to, I don't know, best way. I could input a ship on or before date. This is going to indicate to crab it when I need that fabric and trim to be leaving their facility up to Century in order to keep my timeline uh, on schedule. So I go ahead and say I need that by well, perhaps the 2nd of July is most appropriate. If I don't have a designer phone extension recorded all the way back on the defaults tab of my project window, I could do so individually for each order. I could input my name and extension, for example. And again, we'll see how this appears on the purchase order itself uh, so that Kravit knows who to contact at our company about the order. And I can even put in a verbal or reference number or even a small description about the purchase order itself. If I had called in the order to Kravit and they gave me a reference number, I could enter it in there. Or I could just say you know, fabric trim for the sofa. And lastly, I could even put in some special instructions about the order itself that I want to convey to Fab or to uh, Kravit. Don't forget to ship to Century or whatever I need to convey. And there we go. And if we click OK, we can see all of my updated information right on the generated purchase order window itself. If we click OK from here, now we'll see the print preview window for each of our purchase orders. And here's our first purchase order. Again, a lot of this information is customizable. My purchase order number, I, uh, the date um, page number on the right-hand side. Our first PO is for Century. They're going to be shipping our finalized sofa off to the carters directly at the Brigantine Beach House. We've got our ship via account and terms. All three of these I can actually enter into my Century vendor itself. So simply by putting it into the Century Furniture vendor, Design Manager grabs that information and displays it on the PO automatically for us. In the body of the document, we have our quantity and unit of measure, description of the sofa frame, we have our catalog number, here's our side mock being automatically created for us. Client code, project code, and there is the master bedroom location being appended to that side mark so that my delivery team knows where within the Carter's home to rest the custom sofa. We have our unit and extended costs, which are total on the right-hand side. Notice our deposit and closed amount of $900. Recall that our deal, our terms with Century are they require us to provide 50% of an order up front prior to it being processed. So Design Manager conveniently displays that right on the purchase order for both centuries and our own reference. And lastly, I even have an authorized signature and date line so I could optionally sign and date the purchase order uh, to indeed uh, indicate that it is approved. 
If we click our next arrow, we can see our second purchase order. This one is for Kravit. Kravit will be shipping the fabric and trim directly to Century. In our header region on this purchase order, notice our additional information. I've got my reference of the fabric and trim so I can quickly see what's on the purchase order. I have the date there. On the left-hand side of my company information, we now have a contact of myself and my extension. Again, I could put my email address in there or I could put my designer assistance uh, information. Again, so Kravit knows who to contact at our facility about the order. We've got our updated ship on or before date that we just put in. We changed our ship via from best from UPS to best way. And the accountant terms are again coming from our Kravit vendor itself. In the body, we have our quantity and unit of measure, descriptions, catalog number, and side mark, along with the unit and extended costs for both the fabric and trim. Those are all total on the right hand side. There's no deposit and close being shown on the Kravit purchase order because again, they'll simply bill me upon completion, but we do see our special instructions that we added as well. From here again, we can print, we can email or export, and just like the proposal print preview window, I always use um, the preview window of the purchase order to check the accuracy of all of my, um, of all of my work. If everything is to my liking, we simply close and accept, and now we'll actually process our purchase orders in Design Manager. So we have our first one for Century and our second one for Kravit. And we can see the number, the date, particular vendor, where it's shipping, the total PO amount, and there's my fabric and trim reference. So quickly I can see just from my purchase order window what's included on that PO itself. Great. Now. Our purchase orders have been processed. Let's see how that affects our custom sofa on our specification window. And we can see that it's gone from needs to order to ordered. And we have both our current proposal number and our most recent purchase order number listed there for our convenience. 